How's it going, everybody? My name is Salty, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Free Conjurer M16 Blueprint, along with the best class out of the tactical rifle here in Black Ops Cold War. So as you can see at tier 81, we have a free blueprint called Conjurer for the M16. I can't say this is one of my best class setups, but this class that I'm going to give you guys is basically meant for max damage range. So you can take those longer range gunfights. I did keep some of these attachments here, but overall the blueprint is fairly decent looking blue, black. I can't say it's anything too special, but it looks pretty good. I just don't know what makes it so appealing to me maybe the gold trim is what makes it stand out but i'd be really curious to hear your opinions of it down in the comment section we're going to jump right into this class setup for you guys we're going with all eight attachments with gunfighters so we're going to get started off here with the vision tech two times i highly recommend you give this a go that or the suicide multi-zoom the two time scopes on the tactical rifles feel extremely good so if you are kind of undecided on an optic highly recommend that for the muzzle, I have the infantry compensator to take care of all of the vertical recoil control needs there with the M16. For the barrel, we did stick with the 20.5 inch match grade. Like I said, this is a max damage range build, so the match grade barrel is going to be what you need to fulfill those needs. For the body, we have the SOF target designator to make it a ton easier to see your enemies while aiming down those sights. We did end up keeping the SFOT speed grip here. We did take care of all the vertical recoil control there with the infantry compensator so all that was left to cover was the horizontal which is where the speed grip fits into play here perfectly for the magazine we have the 54 round mag that is just for the maximized ammo capacity of the weapon but you don't really need that ability to reload quickly because 54 bullets is a lot for the handle we have the airborne elastic wrap that for the maximized aim down sight time the flinch resistance and ability to drop shot and then finishing us off with the raider pad this is for the maximized sprint to fire time and then the 40% added to your aim walking movement speed. Overall, it was a fairly decent class. It's not like an M16 class maybe you're used to. I know a lot of people like to use the task force barrel or the strike team for the upped fire rate and damage, but it did very well at long ranges, which was the intended purpose of this build. So I highly recommend you give it a go and let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. If you guys are new to the channel and would like to find your way back for more videos just like this one, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. That would be absolutely awesome. If you like what you see, make sure you also smash the like button. That is the most effective way to support the channel. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. We are running up some drive-in. I'm not exactly a fan of this map, to be 100% honest with you guys. Too many sight lines that are unpredictable. And that's a no-go for me. But we're going to give it our best rip. We'll see if we can do something at least. Like, because I can't... I just don't know where I'm supposed to be looking on this map. Keep it a bug. Are you gonna turn around? Thank you. Okay, so there's a kid there. Losing alpha. Third A. Taking C. They're dominating us. Go on the offensive. Okay, we're getting smoked. These kids know all like this entire map. Like these kids know this map. I haven't got the slightest clue of where I'm supposed to be looking, to be honest. I hear a kid behind me. He had the shotgun. I am glad I turned around. He would have smoked me. Basically, this whole map I'm playing right now is going to be based solely on awareness because I think there's too many unpredictable spots. He's going to get smoked. Yep. Okay. I hear one. I definitely saw one over That's here. Right, sit down. He run through. He did run through. He's dead. Okay. Like I said, this map is really hard to predict. Losing C. Oh, 
There's a guy here. Losing Bravo. I just gotta hold this side down, I think. They wanna go to C really bad. He saw me. Definitely saw me, right? Okay, maybe he didn't. I definitely just saw one. All right. Stay down. We're in the lead. God, I it's hard to play this map. It's so slow and there's like a lot of angles. Like the map just seems big at least for this game. All right, that should help. Now we can play a little aggressive. At least a little aggressive. Okay, he got him. We're going to jump through A. Alright, we're going to back it up. We got the war machine for him. We're going to back it up and get a beam. Okay. Well, we're out of the harp. Oh, we got another one. That's huge. Spawning behind me. I bet you they come for me, right? Jump up here. I've never nuked drive-in, so this would be a first. This would definitely be a first. 26. I got to do it while this harps up, though, because I'm not familiar enough with the map to feel comfortable. And, and now they have a spy plane. We're going to back up. Maybe jump the wall here. This was probably a bad idea. We're gonna go in the room. War machine, bring it in. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Okay. I'm I'm happy I just made it out of there with my life. All we need is one kill, I believe. I, th I think everything else is actual kills. So this should be what you should say would be easy, but I, I don't think it's going to be. I think I'm really going to have to work for it. Securing C. Yep. Enemy took alpha. We've pulled ahead. I hear him. Okay. Enemy has B. There we go. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I was going to get it. I was pretty, actually quite nervous. Get upstairs. That was a hope and a prayer, but that worked out. Sounds like a kid going to be. Okay, we're actually gonna. Deploying field mic. Definitely need some bullet velocity on this build. But this is just the effective damage range barrel. Unfortunately, this is what you got to run on the blueprint. Charlie locked down. Got that bastard. Be secure. Definitely not the easier of B flags to get. Oh, baby. Okay. We're going to take a different approach to that because they know I'm going to be there. We're going to go over here. Uh, I should help him. He's going to die. No, he's not. Good stuff.
Alright, back at A they are. Good shot. I think he's upstairs. I don't know how to get up there, though. Honestly, I don't play this map enough to know. There was a kid over here. I'm just not 100%. There he is. Glad I didn't forget that info. They should spawn somewhere weird. Just hoping it's not on me. Glad I jumped in because it would have been on me. I can't see him. Don't know where I'm supposed to be looking, man. Where is he? Oh, <laughs> oh no. I didn't even know he was there. It's whatever. Okay. Wait, he's still there! Security. What a weirdo. He's just literally sitting in a corner. Well, we're killing him. Unless he decided to finally move. Doubt it. He did. Where did he go? Where did this snake go? Right there. Literally a snake. I vouched my oath to get play on different maps for you guys, and I hope you guys are thankful for that because <laughs> this is pain. This is pain in the deepest. Field mic transmit. Yeah, this is pain in the deepest. We got runic tomato camp and freaking stairways, but we did it. We did nuke. We did nuke drive-in, so I guess it's. I'm positive where we can take it. Where did this kid go? Alright man, that's gonna be the game. We're gonna hit this nuke up. 60 kills on driving. I count that as a big success. I mean, plus whatever the heck we get from the nuke. Wait, that kid saw me? Sure, bro. Sure, bruv. Alright, man. As you can see, 191 to 167. We're going to try to chase down these last three kills. I don't know if we're going to get them, but we're going to do our best. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm praying there's just going to be... I was going to say I was hoping and praying there was going to be three kids in my sights, but there they were. There they were. GG's, man. We ended up with 74. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys can make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.